Hello guys, this is Amel with another video for you for coding interview preparation and this time I'm bringing a very interesting problem which is a threesome problem. Um, this problem gives you an array of integers and you need to find uh, three numbers A, B, C that when you add them up you get zero. So you need to find all the unique triplets in the array um, which gives the sum of zero. So for example, this is the input array and a solution is, is this one. So this is one triplet that gives you zero, negative one plus zero plus one is zero, and negative one plus negative one plus two equals zero. So we need to find, we need to write the, the method or the function that's gonna uh, find all these unique triplets and as a note uh, the solution must not contain duplicate triplets so how can we th how can we solve this problem um, we can solve this problem by reducing it to the two sum problem so first we can sort the input array and if we sort the input array we can have three pointers pointer i, the left and the right pointer. And we can check every iteration if the sum of those three numbers um, gives you zero. If that's the case, we found a, a solution and we add it to the, to the list. And if the sum is less than zero, then because the array is sorted, we want to make it bigger. We want to make the sum bigger so we can increment left. And if the sum is greater than zero, then we want to make it smaller, so we decrement right. So it's the same idea as the two sum problem. So by sorting the array and using uh, the three pointer technique, we can reduce the three sum problem to the two sum problem. We can use the same idea to solve this problem. And the time complexity uh, is going to be big O and square. So without further ado, I'm gonna solve this problem. First, we need the list of list of integer result. And then we do a no validation check. We need to do no validation if the reference is null or the array is empty we can return early, we can return the result, which is empty. As I said, we need to sort the input array first, and then we need a for loop from zero to nums that length minus one. And now we need the left pointer going to be equal to i plus 1 every iteration and the right pointer is going to every iteration is going to start at the end of the array then we can use the same idea as the two sum problem so we can say while left is less than the right we get the sum so value of num sub i plus num sub left plus num sub right and we check if the sum is equal to zero then we found the solution and we need to add it so a list of integer l that's value of new array list of integer so l that add the number position i l that add the number position left and L that add the number at position right. And then this solution we have to add it to the to the entire solution. So result that add L. And remember that we need to skip duplicates. So how can we do that? Well, because the array is sorted, um, the duplicate elements uh, that are the same number will be adjacent to each other 
So we can check every iteration. If the next element is equal to this element, then we can skip it. We can continue skipping it. So we're going to check the left first. Integer um, left value. That's the value of num sub left. So while the left pointer is less than nums that length, so I want to make sure that uh, I'm not. I don't. I don't go out of bounds. And num sub left equals equals left value. Then I keep incrementing left. Integer right value because the value of num sub right. So while the right is greater than the left and num sub right equals the right value, then I keep decrementing right. And this is going to allow me to skip duplicates for the left pointer and for the right pointer. Okay, so this is going to do it. Now we handle the case when we found uh, three numbers that when you add them up, uh, they add up to zero. But what if, now we, hand, we need to handle the other cases. Else if the sum is less than zero. In this case, because the sum is less than zero, we want to make it bigger. Uh, because we want it to be zero. So in order to make it bigger, uh, we do it by incrementing left the same way that we did it for two sum. Else, we want to make it smaller because the sum is going to be greater than zero. So we want to make it smaller. So uh, we want to get closer to zero. We want to get to zero. So uh, this is going to do it, but still we need to um, get rid of duplicates for the eye pointer because we got rid of duplicates for the left and also for the right, but we also, we also need to handle the, the, the eye pointer. So for that, I'm going to go inside the for loop. Inside the for loop, I'm going to say while i plus 1 is less than this length of the array and num sub i is the same the current element is the same as the next element then I want to con I want to skip that element so this is to make sure that I don't have an out of bounds exception because here I'm checking num sub i with the this element with the next element I want to make sure that there's, a, that there's an, a next element to check with so and if the num sub i, if, the, if this element is equal to the next element, increment i. And that's going to make sure that it's going to continue incrementing and it's going to stop incrementing i whenever the next element is different than this element. Finally, we need to return the result. Okay, as you can see, this is the, the solution. Let me test it. We're going to see if we have the right result. So the input, the output, the output that, that I have is negative 1, negative 1, 2, negative 1, 0, 1. The expected output matches my output. So the solution has to be good. Let me submit it. Success. So as you can see, my solution is working perfectly. It is a fast solution, um, faster than 73% of Java online sub submissions for threesome. And just to recap, um, we want to find all the unique triplets. So we have the result array, we do some null validation, um, sort the array, we have the three pointers I left and right. Uh, left is always i plus 1, right is always nums that length minus 1, the last element um, at, the need, at the start of the iteration. And then we use the same technique that we use for two sum, 
uh, to find those three numbers that add up to zero. If, if we find it, we add it to the result list and we make sure that we uh, handle duplicate values. Uh, we want to skip it every iteration by moving the left pointer forward uh, if it's duplicate or moving the right pointer backward if, if, if it's a duplicate. Um, the same idea of two sum, if the sum that we get is less than the target, in this case the target is zero, we increment left. If it is greater than zero, we want to make it smaller, so we decrement right. And we also need to handle the, the eye pointer. We need to make sure that um, if there's a duplicate, if the next element is the same as this element, we need to keep incrementing i to make sure that we handle duplicates. And finally, we return the result. So um, this is Amel Peralta. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe and happy coding.